Hi everyone, my name is Mark Johnston, and today I'm going to be reading to you from my story The Thief, The Crier, and Those Damned Dark Ages. We're going to pick up in the story where the thief is pilloried in the square, and the dreadful Lord Pettyworth has just arrived on the scene. Good afternoon, Pellex, thundered a well-dressed man clad in the vermilion, vermilion livery of a noble. With a strut, he moved through the square with arms held aloft as though he embraced all pilotum. A small mumble of greeting rolled around the crowd, unenthusiastic and dismal. What a bunch of assholes, the noble growled under his breath as he approached the center. As he walked, an entourage of serfs followed behind. Nearly a dozen men, led by Greg the farmer, bore a large wooden crate in their arms. They reached a spot a slight distance from the thief and laid their parcels on the ground at their feet. Ladies and gentlemen, the noble drawled, I, your most esteemed Lord Pettyworth of Yob Manor, have heard of your plight. I come to remedy your ails and rally your spirit. The townsfolk silently looked about the square, quizzically examining the face of each of the neighbors. I've come to give you shit, said the Lord as his eyes rolled through the inside of his skull. Oh, cried the tenant. Lovely, stated the blacksmith. Ah, shit, muttered the thief. With a self-satisfied smirk, the Lord placed his foot on one of the crates in front of him and tipped it over, spilling dozens of tomatoes onto the stonework of the road. This man, he said as he gestured towards the thief, stole from me, I mean you, he stole from you. Let's throw fruit at him. Oh, the tomatoes, Lord, the priest cried out as he gazed upon the small red orbs dotting the road. Vegetables they are. Tis, the weaver called out, tis most definitely vegetables. Once again, the Lord's eyes danced in their sockets. Fine, let's throw veggies at him. No, nah, no, nah, came the authoritative voice of the town's carpenter. I think you'll find that they are a fruit lord. The statement pushed the crowd over the edge. In the blink of an eye, the entire town began screaming at one another. Mothers railed against fathers. Brothers spewed fury at sisters. And one random old lady gave a dog a stern talking to. The thief laughed hysterically, and the lord dropped his head to his chest and shook it. The crier picked up one of the tomatoes and, casting a furtive glance around the town, quickly pocketed it. Enough, screamed the lord, his voice rising above the cacophony and silencing the enraged crowd. For God's sake, you're missing the point, which is that we are going to throw this fruit, this veg, this food at that damned bastard of a thief. As the crier stood perplexed next to the thief, the crowd surged forward and began scooping up every tomato they could get their hands on. All smiles in cooperation, they loaded each other's arms, passing tomatoes around until no one could possibly carry another. Now snarling, they turned towards the thief to begin the pelting. But upon realization that they couldn't throw a single piece with their arms so full, Nearly every peasant present simply dropped the mass that they held. Tomatoes crashed to the ground in a symphony of overripe splatters and a flurry of bouncing greenish buds. Morons! yelled the Lord. Those weren't cheap, you know. But the crowd ignored Pettyworth as they stooped to pick up their whatever pieces of fruit, vegetable, that had survived the fall. Well, Cryer, Steve said slyly, we said you'd finish this three days. How about now? I did. The crier replied as he slowly began sidestepping towards the crowd. But I never said I was an honest man, did I? Talent. Yes, but a clean one. Once the crier reached the edge of the circle that had formed around the pilloried man, the crowd unleashed a loathsome hail of gooey red madness. A pungent aroma of acidic tang filled the air. Laughter swelled amongst the peasants, led by the loud guffaw emanating from Pettyworth's breast. Meanwhile, the pillory trembled under the force of a fierce tomato storm. Some were rotten and mashed into the thief's face with a sloshy splash. Others weren't quite right, and bounced painfully off of his head. It was these he hated the most, as they often rolled back into the greedily grasping clutches of an exuberant villager. Ouch! My ear hole! yelled the thief as one such tomato smashed into the bloody mass where his ear used to be. Aim for the right side of my head! The right! Clang, clang, clang! rang the crier's bell. Aim for his right side, people! he said around a mouthful of the tomato he now munched. Let's not be savages! splatter and squashing of exploding tomatoes continued for another 20 minutes before the massive crate finally ran dry. When the supply of produce ran out, Pettyworth was the first to turn and leave, heading back to the town to return to his manor for the rest of the day. The peasants headed back to their shops, chuckling and smiling as they went. Who's going to clean this all up, you reckon? asked the crier of the thief as he sat down next to him. Oh, I'll clean it, said the thief dryly as he wiggled his hands within the confines of the pillory, eliciting a small smirk from the crier.